be a switch out Saturday. So I have to start with telling you how you can probably see it in the look at my nails. So this is just two coats of this topper, which is the Celestial Lights, and they are pretty much pristine. There's a little bit of chip like on that one, and I believe it's this one, but you can't tell because sort of. You can tell at an angle. But I just love them. So low maintenance. Just don't, don't even worry about it. Just move on and go. So I might pick another one this week. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to take this off. Um, get started on that side of the room and we'll talk about the fragrances. I'm also excited about that because I was successful this week. I did, I did things. Um, led my bag this week. Um, yeah, it was a good week all around. So we'll see what we pick out for this one. I'm asking to not be judged, but I just received a, a box from Hollow Taco. Oh, this is a really big box for what's in here. excessively large. I wanted a new dust mat. And it's this like silicone. So if you spill nail polish or whatever on it, you can just like peel it right off. But it's going to go right here after I pick up the one that's there. So yay. But what else did I get? You ask, right? Or you don't care. You probably don't care. But I'm going to share anyway, because why not? I need a scissor. I had, um, wow, this is way bigger than I thought. Nail polish thinner. So for some of the ones that I've gotten a little bit thick, I've, the bottle on the, online just looked like, do I have anything around this size? It looked like maybe the equivalent of this little lippy and it's significantly bigger. <laughs> so that's good lot more but they sell them in bottles of three so I was like oh maybe I should got the bottle of three but apparently I made the right choice so what did I get I got this was my birthday polish that I picked out this is hot wire pink and this is just something they give you for free so there's like a, a little like rewards area that you go to and they have a selection that changes every year and I didn't have a hot pink like that so it reminds me of the high tea hibiscus but in a glitter type of formulation and then i bought two limited edition toppers that i didn't realize were not limited edition thought they were limited edition from other sets but they were still in stock so i picked them up so this is for All year rose gold flake so that's it just rose gold flakes in a clear coat so that's a fun topper and this one is called fallen flake and this came out in the fall and that one just screams everything to me I love it so, so many different colors. It just is beautiful. Rusts, purples, greens. 
I'm loving it. I couldn't, I couldn't not get it. So these, I think this is the only time I'll cave from now on is to get these toppers because I really enjoy them when I wear them alone. They're just gorgeous. So, um, yeah, happy about that. But I don't need any more nail polish. <laughs> I don't need any more nail polish, but it brings me joy. I might be buying some perfume too because it brings me joy. Okay, we're over here at the fragrance counter and I had a very successful week. I am so excited. Um, I wore everything <laughs> at least once. I am wearing this today. I wore this to my full day in office. So pack that into my bag. I know I wore this one once. I'm pretty, I think I wore Tom Ford twice. So the Lost Cherry I'm wearing, I wore twice. I might have worn this one twice. I'm trying to remember because I know I wore it early in the week. But um, yeah, I'm so proud of myself that I wore everything at least once and really enjoyed the selection. Anywho, so we're going to put all of this back and then we're going to pick on what we're going to do this week. Pickles is attacking her new bed and I'm about ready to really just put her in her crate because she's driving me nuts. But all right, I picked out the fragrances of the week. We are going with a pretty gourmandy, spicy citrus theme. Um, I have not worn this one in forever. Um, this one smells like spicy, like Coke, Dr. Pepper. Um, it's very interesting. It's a unisex fragrance. I don't even think they make it anymore. They might, they sold it at Sephora, but I really, I really like how this smells on me and it smells really good on stuff too. So a really good unisex fragrance. It's just, a, a, just fun. So, um, kind of heavy. So sometimes I like to have it more around the fall winter, but I don't know, just something about, it just spoke to me this morning. So I'm moving over here, vanilla 28, of course, a vanilla, because, you know, just in case nothing else is appealing that morning. Um, grapefruit, pomelo paradise, um, keeping with the citrus, this all over body spray, mandarino de Amalfi, I love, and surprisingly, these body sprays actually last quite well on me, so I never felt um, the need to buy the actual parfum, so I got that relatively cheap at the cosmetic company outlet, and it's been doing me just fine, so I I like it. And then last, we're going to bring out City of Stars again, because I'm trying to be better about um, using my very expensive fragrances, so it's just a very unique scent, at least in my collection. So I have to remember that it's not California Dream because it looks so much like it. Um, but California Dream is really green citrus and this is like floral, the flower. So um, I, I like this one more and I like how this smells on me more. It's just for some reason when I see the bottle up there, I, I don't know why the notes just remind me of California Dream looking at the bottle, but I know it, it's not. <laughs> I can't describe it. It's just confusion. So this is what we're going for this week. I have a feeling I'll have no problem wearing everything. If anything, I might skip that one again because I just do it, but I love everything on this tray. So I'm sure I will be utilizing it and this will be fun. So, okay. So reminder, we were here and it's kind of a pain in the butt to take off. I still have some residue right there. So I'll have to try that again, but it came off okay on the other nails. So, um, 
you know, I'll have to do another swipe there. But I'm trying to decide what I want to do this week because um, I do need to go to the office again one time just for some meetings. So what do I want to do? I'm thinking I want to do one of the glitters. But I'm not sure which one because red just seems a little bit much. I could do the birthday polish from 2022. It's red, but it's got a lot of black in it, so. That's kind of tempting. The other one we could do is her other birthday polish from 2021, which is, I'm not sponsored by Holo Taco. I just need to use up this crap. I shouldn't say crap, but this stuff. We're using this one. Oh God, do I wanna use this one though? Oh my goodness. I just think there's more more depth going on here. I think, yeah, this one. We're doing this, we're doing this one. I keep the boxes because they were special edition and I just really like the nostalgia of them. But yeah, that one's gonna be the color of the week. So, I'm going to disappoint you all by saying I'm not swapping out the bag of the week because I really enjoyed carrying Mini Lynn, but this, this was depressing me. <laughs> so Amazon is having like flash sales on insert. So I picked up a whole bunch of them. And we're just going to figure out which one fits because of course their sizing never makes sense. So let's Figure it out. I believe this one, this says medium. This one says never full speedy and more medium, but hey. And then this one was also a medium. Speedy never full tote, seven sizes. Yeah, so. I just think that they expand it way too much. Looking at the construction, this looks really thin and not so great. These look about like what I normally see. And of course they come with an extra pouch. I'll open one up because this these two look almost identical. This one looks pretty bad. I almost want to open this so I can just return it. But this might work well inside the um, No Way GM. I'll put it aside. I'll, if I want to open that one, I will do so later. So let's open up. Let's open up this one. Like I said, they're pretty much identical. And this one has the easier little zip, zip opening. Okay, so it has this little center piece that goes on the inside. Really cute, actually. I'll use it. Okay. Velcro down here so it will slot in place just fine. We've got that. Yeah, that should go in there pretty well. So, removable keychain kind of thing in there. That's nice. Take that off. All right, let's take out all of what I've carried for the week. 
So, all of that. Phone. And my uh, key card. Okay, we are empty. We are going to try to get this in and see what it does. And if this works out, I'm just going to leave this inside here because I want this to keep its shape and I have a lot of other inserts so Ooh. well looky there mm -hmm. apparently that's all she needed I left the base shaper in the bottom but I maybe don't even need that yeah. See in there? All right. That's perfect. Do I want to use this divider? I don't think so at the moment. I might put it in when I store it, but I don't think I need it for the week. And it fits pretty well. There's like a little bit of room around so things would be able to fall around it. But I'm pretty careful. I usually go right in the middle. So I think we're good. So I'm going to, where's that pen? Put the pen case back in. side pockets. Oh, more of a damn. That key can go in there. Phone. Okay, phone's gonna fit there. Okay, not bad. I'm not gonna swap out. This worked really well for work with my um, Chanel mirrors, so, or Chanel mirror and nail file. I'm not gonna change my card case, although I kind of want to. But I like having all of my stuff with me. Ha ha ha. There we go. Quick and dirty, but it's standing up. I'm so excited. That was $9. Each one of these. Um, so these two were $9. So the one I used and this one that were really nice. Um, this one was on sale for like seven dollars and i know we can see why it might just be um, it's like a real real type of dust bag it might just be that and it's just nice on the inside so i will um i'll report back on this one and i'll put some links to which ones i purchased hopefully they're still on sale um but i don't I don't bother with like some Morga and all those ones because honestly, unless you have a specialty bag, like a Birkin or whatever, these fit, these work. I'm sorry. Unpopular opinion, maybe, but they work and they're cheap. And you can have one for every bag at $7 rather than, you know, 30 something dollars each. I think they're even more than that now. Um, because last time I shopped them <laughs> was a long time ago, 10 years maybe. Anywho, so I'm going to keep carrying Mini Lynn and we'll, next week we'll change out. So I almost forgot to show the nails. So that's Existential Crisis. 
this week's nail look. It's just a really fun, in my opinion, polish. Have a great week, everybody. See you next time.